West Ham United 3, Southampton 0. And let's take a look at what those results mean to the league table. At the top of the table remain Chelsea. Arsenal 3, Southampton 1. Bournemouth 3, Crystal Palace 0. Brighton and Hove Albion 1, Huddersfield Town 1. Chelsea 2, West Ham United 1. Leicester City 3, Newcastle United 0. Watford 1, Burnley 2. So what do those results mean to the league table? At the top of the table remain Chelsea with 73 points. Well, you recognise him, I know, but he's definitely on view today. The top scorer in the league, and it's live. Martin Tyler here with Alan Smith. Hello to you all, and welcome to today's game. In our game today, West Ham United against Stoke City. Stoke City, and your Irons, West Ham United. Here is my West Ham United man. Number 13, Adrian. Number 22, Pablo Zabaleta. Number 21, Angelo O'Connor. Number 2, Winston Reed. Number 3, Aaron It does look as though the drama at the bottom of the table is pretty much over because these teams now in the relegation zone being cut adrift. Yeah, and that's the worst thing in the world, isn't it? To, to look at the league table in the newspaper the next day and to see yourselves in that position. They, and they've still got a chance, but all these three teams are going to lift themselves. West Ham United's lineup is this. Adrian starts in goal. Winston Reid starts with Angelo Ogbonna as the fullback. And they've got plenty of goal threat with two strikers in the attack. got here Alan is a side that don't concede many goals and perhaps they don't score enough that's down to the overall philosophy of the coach yeah they don't uh, commit too many men forward they work incredibly hard I know on the training ground in the week on organization who's where at any given time and it does work 
West Ham United trying to put on a better show today. They lost their last match. It was away from home against Chelsea. Yeah, I mean, they lost 2-1, didn't they? But um, I do think that they can improve on that performance, and I do think they can, they can grab three points here. Neil Swarbrick is our referee. First half has begun here. Good work. And he could get away here. He's gone for the volley, and it nearly paid off. Yeah, really good technique there. Known for that kind of volley. The manager just trying to get his message across down there. They weren't far off taking the lead there. They're playing pretty well. opponents around him that's good screening of the football while oh, the pressure paying off it's an aimless clearance Griezmann beautifully timed run from Griezmann throw in here it was a draw when these two teams met earlier in the season so um, I, I don't think there's much between them now, is there? Not an awful lot, no. And uh, if I was a betting man, I think... I... Straight at the keeper. Quick-witted and quick in his movement too to intercept the goal kick here. He's the one we're focusing on, I think with good reason. Not bad at all. Four goals in his last three games. Another danger man to keep an eye out for. Room now out of the wing. Oh, he's through. Well, here's an opportunity with the ball over the top. Jamario. Mario. It's with Zabaleta. With Jamario Mario again. Target Pablo Zabaleta. In with a chance. He blocked it then. Cresswell. Defended well. Anticipated the direction of the pass and was able to intervene. What about this for a shot? Optimistic. Well, nowhere near. Uh, he was a long way out. Yeah, I think that's a waste to try his luck from there. Really a very good player, in very good touch, and his manager has been pointing that out to us. Yeah, and he, he won't need any words of advice. The way he's playing, it's all coming so easily, so naturally. We could be in. He's in the clear. I cannot believe he took that on, Martin. It, it stunned me, and it certainly stunned the keeper. Well, they'll be showing that over and over again. Well, that is one that we'll look at again, because it's so eye-catching when that happens. Very rare, really, but it's a special goal. Yeah, it really gets the crowd buzzing, and it uh, looks like being this lad's day. Wonderful strike. He's not the easiest of managers to work for, I know that, but his players are doing what he demanded beforehand now. West Ham are in the lead. Goal for West Ham United. Number three, Aaron Creswell. Intercepted well. Creswell. On 
to the attack now. This could be it. They could have played the attacker in now. Excellent work with the tackle. Up for grabs here. Well, they're waltzing through again. So much attacking confidence. Another goal. They're two up now. All the prospects here are of more goals to come. They're the most exciting team that you could ever wish to watch. And they never really disappoint you. They make chances, but most importantly, they take their chances. Their efficiency in front of goal is phenomenal. They say goals change games. Well, certainly two goals here have changed this one. Terrific. Completely turned this match on its head. What a passage of play that was. Just widen the margin here to 2 0. He might be through. It's going to be a throw here. Now Danilo. He's on the move all the time and makes lots of these interceptions. Good work from the keeper. And the decision is a corner here. Strong strike from long range and good goalkeeping. Yeah, because it was sweetly struck and you do have to pay attention to those. Lanzini's corner. Good defensive clearance there. Difficult skill, good effort. Yeah, timed it perfectly, as you have to do with those volleys. time run from Griezmann Angelo Ogbonna he's gone for the volley and it nearly paid off yeah really good technique there known for that kind of volley no apologies for focusing on this fella he is he's managed to carve out plenty of shooting opportunities really has tested the keeper and got himself a goal He's cut that out well, well read. Well, it's not over yet because we've got Jack Butland's the goalkeeper with a simple stop. Griezmann. Well, all credit for taking the volley on, but in the end, nowhere near the target. Well, it's a difficult skill, and you get it off a fraction, and that can happen. It goes wide. Zabaleta. Proper tackle that. And there goes the whistle for half time. And the scoreline is 2 0. I think that's a good performance, isn't it, Alan, from him in the first half? I would be happy with that first 45 minutes. It was a good goal from him. Good overall performance, actually.